Hello everybody and welcome to episode 1 of Let's Play Wrestling Spirit 3. Uh, we'll be playing Rookie to Legend, so let's go ahead and get into it. I already have a character pretty much set up here uh, um, that I've already created in my head. And we'll name that Let's Play. Uh, Joey Vegas, Vegas, and these are all pretty much free pictures. You can use any of these. They're uh, if you just click the picture, and uh, if you go to CVFP. There's literally hundreds of pictures to choose from that you can base your character off of, so it's very useful. And uh, let me try to find the one that I liked. The one that I'd like to use for this character, I mean. Uh, this one, Joey Vegas. And Joey Vegas is a middleweight competitor from Southern California who is actively working the local indie scene. He is known for coming out to the ring with a popsicle stick, placing it in his mouth, and then offering the other end to at least one of the ladies in the crowd. This has resulted in Joey engaging in a number of physical altercations with the boyfriends of said women, but that doesn't stop him from playing the gimmick to near perfection. If Vegas can improve his entering technique, then there's really nothing to stop him from becoming a major player, at least on the indies. So, gender male, age 18, birth month, April, the same month as the greatest man that ever lived, and you'll say it'll be a heel, uh, middleweight, as it says in the bio. Um, I'm really not sure what to do here. Uh... We could do Japanese Junior, but, uh... Mm, I don't want to do Entertainer. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with Japanese Junior, and, uh... Top rope move. Be 5% more likely to hit. But all-rounder. Experience Grapple Submission Specialist. Uh, we will do... Uh, we'll just do All-Rounder, actually. And we'll start the career. And let's look at the skills. Actually, some great starting skills. Um, uh, let's see. Decent striking. Excellent grappling. Uh, good ground game. Superb speed. Good stamina and good athleticism. So, we should have some good high flying moves. And we'll auto generate. Western. Technical speed. Gymnastic. And generate. So, I'd like to do a 450 splash for our finisher. Let's see the ropes. But apparently we can't. Um, let's see what we do have, though. Let's do text output. Uh, Cobra Clutch, Face Crusher, Inverted Sleeper, Left in Reverse DDT, Reverse DDT, Reverse snap inverted DDT, rolling inverted DDT, sit out double underhook face buster, super kick top rope DDT, top rope face crusher, crusher, trusting face crusher. And so that should uh, give us the nickname of uh, the man of 498 DDTs. Um, Oh, 
Or actually, we'll do a thousand DTTs. Man of a thousand DTTs is Joey Vegas. That is extremely corny. Which is why we'll delete it. Um, just save that and uh, continue on to our first storyline. Here's uh here's the news screen, January twenty fourteen news. Uh just shows the top news in the industry. Uh Elyon has turned Rudo and south of the border pro wrestling, which is heel. Uh Brian Vessi turned face. Um also shows new contracts. Uh let's see. Let me see if I can't find uh, this. Wrestler debuted. Let's do manager debuted then. And nothing, so I will show that off uh, in the next episode then. Uh, but we'll continue on. And we'll do working the indie scene for our. Uh, storyline. Just save it before we do that, because I'm not sure if it auto saves. And we'll be taking on Austin Smooth um, for our first match in this series. And he pretty much has the advantage in every field except for speed, so this could be a tricky one. And drop toe hold. Mm. European uppercut. Oh, drop. I'll try not to talk very much in these matches. Um, pretty even in the first uh, minute and a half of the match. Knee drop there. And uh, my prediction would be that it'll be even throughout the whole thing, um, throughout the whole matchup, based on uh, the stats. I think we're going to have to put up a hell of a fight to get the victory in this one. And by the looks of things, that is correct, as he already has us down to medium health three minutes in. And so, he's pretty much in control for the first five minutes, and it'll probably be that way. And the stump puller. Screw leg whip. But, and he's got a cross face on us. And, no, we broke that. Elbow blow, and he avoids it. Jeez, he's just completely dominating us. European uppercut, try for a surfboard, but he broke it. But for the, uh, for our finisher, or our trademark move, it will be, uh, the high roller, which, uh, will obviously have to do with the last name, Joey Vegas. Um, and that will probably be it.
and we just lost. Uh, seven minutes, so that was not good. And uh, the storyline continues despite uh, it being a failure. And uh, I'm not sure how long this video has been recording. I'll check that quickly and then we may continue. Alright, and so after checking that, the show will go on. And uh, we'll be facing Rex Reeves, who's a veteran of the indie circuit, I suppose. And uh, we'll get some offense in early. Hopefully we can get him down to medium here. We got him right back into the corner. Corner running drop kick. For a move that was illegal, you'd think it'd do more than uh four percent. Although I think the health values are different for everybody. Um, this should probably be an easy victory for us. And... Side headlock takedown. So you may get a little bit of offense. But nonetheless, I think we'll come out with the victory here. Another drop kick to the corner. And corner forearm blow. Corner triple kick. And a corner running sent on. And measure knee drop. Shouldn't have done that. we got out of that but yeah back and forth there for a bit I'm not familiar with this uh, sort of move set so that may be the problem but I don't really want to make excuses um see so do we have anything Sorry about that momentary uh, audio delay there. Uh, and he's busted open on that. And we'll wait for him to stand. And... Twisting face crusher, but he breaks it. That was the wrong one. Did not mean to brace for that knee drop. Super kick. And that should be it. One, two, and three. So we got the victory in that. Another two-star match.
or sorry, the first two star match. And so the storyline continues. Um, once again, let me check the time. And we are 15 minutes in, but I will continue on anyway for one more matchup, and we'll be facing uh, Fearless Blue, the Renegade Redneck. Um... And we start the offense. But he's not far behind at all. Arm runer. Forearm blow. How do you counter a senton into a punch? Um, Try an arm drag, and he's on the ground. Bad idea to go for that leg drop, especially with his momentum. And ours, which was not good. And Zaguri kick. That lands. Surfboard, but he blocked it. Fist drop. Measured knee drop, bad idea. Two high flying moves after another, not a good idea. Or two aerial strikes, I should say. Or things of that nature. Not even sure if that could be considered an aerial strike. And a half sent on. And that lands. Body scissors. Nope. If you heard it in the background, that's uh, actually coming from the kitchen. So. Not sure if you can even hear that. But. I think we should have this one. It's still a pretty close match. Anything can really happen. Still a pretty close match. He's mounting some decent offense. DDT there. Nope. The Boston Crab always does a reasonable amount of damage.
I'm not even sure what he hit us with uh, to get that pinfall. So the Boston Crab, which I said does a reasonable amount of damage, which it did. Um, Tree of Woe, Dropkick. He's busted open off that. Let's just try to get the pinfall from the Tree of Woe, Dropkick. But he gets the shoulder up, and we should have a finisher available. Which we do. Super Kick, and he avoids it. So we'll give the finishes a break then. Uh, spectacular. But it it didn't uh, do a pinfall, which is disappointing. Um, do a call for finisher Helen, which he rushes, of course. Seems that unless you're an entertainer, you almost always miss the taunts. Um, Still a very close match. Blindside high knee. And we luckily avoided that. And a super kick, maybe. No. <laughs> We're going to have to get his momentum down if we want to do that. Jeez, but we avoided that, and this could be our opening. Nope. Oh, we kicked the ref with a super kick. Um, and he hit a blindside high knee. And now he's going up top, but we counter that. And uh, do an implant DDT. Nope. Avoid the kick to get. Let's just get him to the ground so we can go to the outside, get a chair, and then finish this. Well, actually, can we do a low blow or something? Let's see. Can cause blood, can break chairs, can finish, nothing. So we'll leave the ring, uh, throw a chair in, enter the ring. And we don't have any chair moves, but we will DDT him onto a chair. And the ref is still down. And we DDT'd him on the chair. And an Arabian face buster. But he moved. Face crusher on the chair. Nope. We'll attempt an implant DDT on it though. And nope again. So now this match is very close because of all the high impact moves I've been attempting. And uh inverted Russian leg sweep onto a chair. Why not? And he slipped out of it. Big drop, Bulldog, no! Shit! And that is it. So we lost that mainly because of all the high impact moves I went for based on his momentum. But uh, nonetheless, we'll close that. That is 
two losses this storyline alone. So, I think we'll leave this video at that and uh, continue on with episode two, uh, where we'll hopefully uh, begin improving uh, from this in this performance. Uh, in episode two, we'll be facing uh, Melvin Otto in the last match in this working the independent circuit storyline, at which point we'll probably have to repeat the storyline against new opponents, uh, based on the fact that we lost it this time, unless new ones pop up. But anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe, even though like and rate are the same thing. Uh, favorite it if you want, share it with your friends, do whatever you really want to. Uh, but anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Also, of course, be sure to check out episode 2 when it's up. If it is up, uh, there will be a playlist on my channel entitled uh, Let's Play Wrestling Spirit 3, Joey Vegas, Rookie to Legend, and uh, hopefully this series will document his rise from the indie circuit at age 18 uh, to his eventual domination of SWF, TCW, something, and uh, these will be our goals. Three legendary main event title runs, 25 match of the year candidate rated matches, three wrestler of the year awards, succeed in 100 storylines, succeed in five iconic storylines, produce 105 star rated matches, win 10 main event level titles, and win 500 matches. And all of this will have to be done in uh, a large or huge promotion, uh, which, let's see, just quickly, which are any of these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 promotions, but will need the sufficient popularity and skills to go to said promotions. Uh, we can choose from 21st Century Wrestling if we ever uh, decide to w start working the British circuit. We can go to Japan with Burning, Burning Hammer. Uh, Canada has uh, CGC and North of the Border Pro Wrestling. Uh, there are also some choices in Mexico. Uh, Ali and South of the Border Pro Wrestling. In Australia, the only uh, notable one is Evolution Raw. Um, and then, of course, in the U.S., the Big Three, SWF, TCW, and USPW. Uh, but anyway, uh, hopefully this series will document, like I said, Joey Vegas' rise to stardom. And uh, anyway, I'm not a wrestler, and uh, thank you for watching.